Linear dependence of vectors. Which of the following statements are true for linearly dependent vectors u and v? We are given five options here. The first one is vectors u and v are parallel. Second one is u is scalar multiple of v, which is u equals to k times v. C is zero vector is linearly dependent with u and v. D is m u plus k v equals to zero. Where m k belongs to real numbers, they exist, not both equal to zero. One of them can be zero. All of the above. Well, as you guessed it, the answer is all of the above. Now, this is a very important video. I'd like you to make note of all these four conditions. Any one of them can show that the vectors are linearly dependent, right? So if the two vectors are linearly dependent, they should be parallel. So that means if one vector is like this, the other one is parallel. Right? Their magnitudes could be different, but they need to be parallel. So this is, let's say, u, and that is v. So if two vectors are parallel, we can say they are linearly dependent. So when vectors are linearly dependent, we can write one in terms of another as a scalar multiple. You can always translate u on this side. So you know now u is, you know, let's say two-third of v, something like that. u equals to k times v, where k is any real number, correct? So that is the scalar multiple property. Zero vector is linearly dependent with u and v. Well, we'll get this from part D. So, so what we do here is, when you say u equals to kv, we could always write it in a different way. So we could also write u minus kv equals to zero. Do you see that? So that's the other equation where m is one for us and k is minus k, right? So that is another way of writing the same thing. m times u plus kv equals to zero. Now, when we say zero vector is linearly dependent with u and v, that means we could use zero vector here, right? So if v is zero, in that case, k be anything. k could be one, two, three, four. So this property, not both equals to zero, satisfied. So that's kind of very important to understand that zero vector is linearly dependent with u and v, or for that matter, any vector. So all the above statements are true. So if in the following videos, we'll try to see different conditions. So we have to apply one of these four to get our answer if the vectors are linearly dependent. If they are not linearly dependent, then they will not be parallel, they will not be scalar multiples, and this statement will not be true for them. Okay, so that is how we will solve examples based on linearly dependent vectors. I'd like you to go through it once again and understand all the four conditions. Thank you and all the best.